Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. Today, I want to talk to you about midcourt balls, and I'd like to show you why midcourt balls are a problem for most players and how to solve that problem so that you can dominate and attack midcourt balls and become a more aggressive and more complete tennis player. Now, when we move to the ball, we move to the ball nearly always in a straight line. We don't make a kind of zigzag motion to get there. We move as efficiently and directly as we can. And so if that's how we move to the ball in most situations, then it's natural that we'll move to the short ball the same way. But moving to the short ball in a straight line is like running into a car crash. Because you see, the ball's coming to me on a straight line. I'm going to the ball in a straight line. And that means that the distance and the depth is very hard to judge. So a lot of people move forwards and then overrun the short ball. And moving in a straight line to the short ball has another problem. It also means that I'm going to arrive to the ball in a kind of open stance. So it's the least adjustable stance and in a situation where I'm most likely to need to adjust because it's the most difficult way to judge the distance, depth and speed of the ball. And so we have a car crash as two objects race rapidly towards each other. The correction for this is fairly easy. What you should always do is go out to the side of the short ball in like an L-shaped movement. So now I've placed a ball on the court and this can represent the area where I'm going to make contact with the short ball and we want to try and attack that ball. So you see, if I run straight at the short ball, I'm going to be open stance and the ball's coming at me, I'm going at the ball and I'm probably going to fall back on the ball, which means at best I'm going to make an accurate but ineffective shot. I'm not going to dominate the stroke from that position. But if I move to the ball, to the side of the ball, about one, one and a half meters. So look, I move to the side of the ball. I'm now set up here. I'm now in the perfect neutral stance. And from moving in this L-shaped motion, it's very easy to judge the depth and distance of the ball. And I've got a large margin for error to actually play the ball. So moving straight to it, I have to be perfect. And I'm still going to be a, in a less than comfortable open stance. But when I move to the side of the ball and then make the stroke, then now I'm perfectly positioned in a neutral stance to attack the ball. And I for sure will not have spacing issues. If the ball's too close from a neutral stance, I've got a lot of room for maneuver. The ball's too far away from a neutral stance. I've got a lot of room for maneuver. So as long as you approach the midcourt ball with an L shaped motion, instead of the direct run, then you'll solve or you won't encounter spacing problems and you won't encounter the problem of being open stance and then not really being able to attack the ball. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game or the players that you work with. You know, I love your feedback and I try to reply to every single comment. And if you like my ideas, check out our books on Amazon. We've got super detailed biomechanical information on the strokes with references to the anatomy and the physics of the strokes. And then with really clear illustrations, super simple solutions that will help take your game to the next level. And maybe I can help you more with online coaching. I'm helping players in over 30 countries of all ages and all levels. We provide a unique service of video analysis and then one-to-one -one sessions such as this. It's totally different and it really works. So remember, to dominate the court and control and attack short balls, then don't run straight at the ball. Run to the side, step across, you'll be in neutral stance, you'll be perfectly spaced, and you'll have better control and be able to attack those short balls every single time. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.